Hello, and welcome to St. Francis Episcopal Church and our thought for the week. My name is Father Mitch, and I would like to share a reading today and a brief meditation. First, I'll open with the collect from Sunday. This collect is from the sixth Sunday after the Epiphany. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because in our weakness, we can do nothing good without you. Give us the help of your grace that in keeping your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading today is from Mark chapter 11, verse 27 through chapter 12, verse 12. Again, they came to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him and said, By what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do, to do them? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did, jo did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? Answer me. They argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, they were afraid of the crowd, for all regarded John as truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we do not know. And Jesus said to them, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. Then he began to speak to them in parables. A man planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a pit for the wine press, and built a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the season came, he sent a slave to the tenants to collect from them his share of the produce of the vineyard. But they seized him and beat him and sent him away empty-handed. And again he sent another slave to them, this one they beat over the head and insulted. Then he sent another, and that one they killed. And so it was with many others, some they beat and others they killed. He had still one other, a beloved son. Finally, he sent him to them saying, they will respect my son. But those tenants said to one another, this is the heir, come, let us kill him and inherit and the inheritance will be ours. So they seized him, killed him and threw him out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? He will come destroy the tenants and give the vineyard to others. Have you not read this scripture? The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. When they realized that he had told this parable against them, they wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowd, so they left him and went away. Today's meditation, authority. In our gospel lesson today, there are two different things going on that at first blush don't seem to have anything to do with each other. The first is a question of Jesus' authority. By whose authority does Jesus do what he does? Jesus answers with a question that no matter how the temple authorities answer it, may set the crowd upon them. They fear the crowd, so those questioning Jesus do not answer. The second part of our reading concerns a parable about, a, about wicked tenants. In that parable, after sending many people with his authority to collect the landowner's share of the harvest, the landowner finally sends his beloved son to make the collection, but the tenants kill the son. Note that two times previously in the Gospel of Mark, at Jesus' baptism and at the transfiguration, the language of beloved son was used for Jesus. At the end of the parable, the landowner will destroy the tenants that killed his son and give the vineyard to others, to which Jesus uses the parable to speak about how the rejected stone, the son, becomes a cornerstone of something new. It is in that parable when the answer about the question of Jesus' authority comes to those that oppose Jesus. The authority comes from the Father that sent him, the Son. With the authority of the Father, the Son, the beloved Son, will establish new tenants to take care of the vineyard, which the leadership that opposes Jesus comes to realize Jesus was talking about them. In this part of Mark, the text is about Jesus' conflict with the authorities in Jerusalem. As we can see, especially as a reader, 
Jesus's authority comes from God the Father, as noted in the Epiphany that Jesus is God's Son in the baptism and transfiguration. And because the leadership in Jerusalem questioned Jesus' authority, they are acknowledging that they do not follow the way of Jesus, and thus the way of God. They do not believe who Jesus is, and thus convict themselves of their unbelief when they question Jesus' authority. They are the evil tenants rejecting the sent son from the parable. It can be difficult to have the authority of Jesus in our own lives. I don't believe that we outwardly question Jesus' authority or even mean to doubt it. We want to be good tenants. But we don't love neighbor. But when we don't love neighbor, we are doubting the authority of the Son. Yet we know that we are not made to be against God's will for our lives. When we fail, and we will, we need to remember to repent and ask for forgiveness as we want others to do for us and as we want to do for them. For us, that is how we follow the authority of Jesus, by acknowledging our mistakes and moving forward with God's help. We are working on being good tenants. Until next time, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.